Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and you just got a Samsung phone and you are excited to set it up but when you are setting up, you are faced with this screen right here. Well, this is called the Samsung FRP Lock or you can, can call it the Google FRP Lock. It's basically if you bought your phone from a second-hand market, alright, and this is a very common issue when, you know, if, let's say you bought from a second-hand market, alright, and the previous owner forget to sign off their Google account while resetting the phone, you will face with this issue right here. And most of the time, they wouldn't want to give you their Google account email and password because for security reason, right? So yeah, so you're either stuck with a phone that you cannot continue to use, alright, and um, yeah, it can also be a very common issue especially if you forgot your google account password maybe your parents or your grandparents all right and this can also lead to the same issue over here so um yeah it can be a hassle and if you want to get it remove this and that all right if you want to go to a shop they will charge you an absurd amount of price so you wouldn't want that so what are the other solution there is well you're in luck today because today i have the perfect solution for this issue right here and it is with the help of this software right here so this is the mac phone android unlocker and this has been a lifesaver for me as well where i fell into the same trap as this thing had that happens to me when i bought a second hand samsung phone all right to use it as my second device and um yeah i'm afraid of the same issue and i was quite panicking that time so um there's no way for me to like you know bypass that and you know i, I was quite down actually like i spent like so much for a samsung phone and then it's like i can't even use it so um yeah that's why i came to this software itself and um by any means this software works really well helps me unlock my phone i was so thankful and it works really really well afterwards and everything looks uh you know i can like bypass that i can just like you know sign my own google account use the phone as per normal so i was like very happy and i was like super super thankful for that so um yeah so this is a software that i actually use trout and tested and it works really well all right and i'm using that secondhand phone for like probably like about five or six months now without any issues at all you can receive like constant software update you can sign to multiple google account this and that all works really really well so i'm really happy with how this thing actually is so without further ado i'm going to just show you guys the software itself you guys can see for yourself what are the features and what it can do and after that followed by a quick demonstration of the whole process itself so without further ado let me just go ahead and show you guys the software itself let's go Okay, so as you guys can see on top here, it is the software itself and you guys can see not only it can remove the Google FRP lock, which will be a topic that we'll be talking about today, but this can also help remove screen lock as well. So if you forgot the passcode to your phone, all right, you guys can use this to remove that as well. So it's really, really nice that they include both. So like, you know, next time or anyone or friends facing the same issue like with like screen lock, you guys can use this software to help them. But today we will be focusing on the Google FRP lock. So what are we going to do? The first thing is we will click on that. All right, and we will select a device brand. All right, so you guys can see these are the few devices it can unlock. All right, and um, if we are going for today, main topic will be Samsung. So we go go with Samsung. All right, and you guys can choose between certain Android version. You know, if not, you guys can choose the all version. Just click on start, and all you have to do is just to connect your USB cable to your PC, and you will detect your phone. And after you just have to follow the on-screen instruction to get your phone into a certain mode all right and you guys can start um you know unlocking it so most of the time it will be just the software doing the job so you don't have to do anything you just have to take a cup of coffee and sit back and relax so right now i'm going to show you guys the whole process of me unlocking the phone itself so without further ado let me just go ahead and show you guys the whole demonstration process itself let's go okay so right now i'm going to demonstrate it on the samsung galaxy s10 plus that i bought all right at that time and uh, as you guys can see all right um yeah i couldn't bypass that so what i do is just to go to click on start all right and just key in the star hash zero star hash this is basically get your phone into this menu which is basically like a menu where you guys can test all functionalities of the phone so it's a menu that even you can try on your own android phone as well so when you're in this menu all right once you see on there you'll say allow usb debugging just click on allow and just allow that and once you allow just click on next all right so once it's next all right you will just start removing the google frp lock your phone will reboot all right just wait a while and let the software do the job it's probably take about like five minutes all right and after that all right you will say your phone should reboot and after that you'll say google frp lock removed successfully so once that all right just click on allow just click on done and after that you guys can see I am in my phone right now. So this is how easy it is just to get the Google FRP log with just a one or two simple click of a button. You guys can get your Google 
you know, FRP unlock in less than a few minutes time. So yeah, this is the whole demonstration process itself. Okay, so as you guys have seen from the demonstration process, it's very, very straightforward, very easy. Just a few simple click of a button and you're good to go. You don't have to be really tech savvy to do that. Anyone can do that. And the best part is you're doing it at the comfort of your own home. You wish you don't have to like travel down to the shop and get them removed and paying so much price and travel back again. All right, and probably, you know, get your... Okay, once they unlock, they can see what's the content inside your phone. So, you know, it's not really good, you know. So, you guys, with this, you guys can do it at the comfort of your own home. And anyone have any issues with that, you know, you guys can just boot up this software and just say, hey, let me just help you with that. You know, it's really, really cool. So, yeah, the process, the whole process for me actually take about 10 minutes. So, depending on how fast your phone is, how fast the cable is, and how fast your system is. But all in all, it's about 7 to 10 minutes. So, it's actually relatively quick. So, yeah, if you're having this same issue and you want to get it removed, well, this is the Mac phone Android Unlocker, which I highly recommend. And the best part about this software also is that, you know, it supports the latest version of Android, which is Android 16. And it works from both Windows and Mac OS. So you guys can, if you're using a Mac, you can of course have this software and you guys can go ahead and download it on your Mac device right now. So yeah, it's really, really worth it. Save you a lot of money. You don't have to spend like a certain amount of price for the shop for you to, for them to unlock. And you also don't know what they practice over there. They might do like some dangerous thing to your phone. They, even, they might even swap out your internal parts with like a third party parts without even you noticing it. So you know, there's a lot of like these shady things going on. So you wouldn't want that to do it with the phone that you just bought, right? So yeah, if you want something that is safe, reliable and actually did work, all right, without any issues afterwards, you guys can check out this, all right, Android Unlocker by Mac phone, all right, now once again, I'll link them the first link in the view screen down below and get this for yourself, which I highly recommend you guys to get this software instead of trying any other route. So um, yeah, that's all for the guys, find this video really interesting and really help you, helpful and did help you solve your issue. All right, do give you a thumbs up and comment down below your phone model as well. So yeah, that's all for today guys, and this is JForce Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't want to cry.